Hey guys, welcome to Tech Notebook, and in this video, I will be showing you how to set up the development environment for our Django URL shortener project. So, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we will need to do is to create an empty folder. So once you've created that folder, you will just need to go into that folder using File Explorer. Now you'll need to click on File, click Open in Windows PowerShell. Now, in Windows PowerShell, what you'll need to type in is pip install virtual env, press enter, and it says requirement already satisfied. So that means I already have it, but it will install for you. So what virtual env is, is a tool to create a virtual environment. So a virtual environment is basically a container for your application in which all the modules that you install will stay inside that application or container and uh, it will not go into your global Python installation. So now what we'll need to type in is virtual env space env. And so this will create a virtual environment with the name env. Let's press enter. And it is currently creating our virtual environment. So now it has been created. Now we can just minimize this window and go inside env. So inside env, we should see all these folders. If you don't have and if you don't have all these folders, then you will need to go and do that installation over again. So now once you've got this, you will need to go to this website, code.visualstudio.com, so we can install Visual Studio Code. If you already have it, you can it, you can skip this step, or you will just need to go and install it. I already have Visual Studio Code right here, so I'm just going to open it. And now what we will need to do is to click Add Workspace Folder right here. So now I'm just going to navigate to the directory that I want to go to, which is right here, env. And you'll just need to click Add. And you can see that all these files have populated in here. So now what you'll need to click is this New Folder button. Click New Folder, and in this new prompt, we'll just need to type in SRC, create this folder. And so now we have a new folder here that is called SRC. So now we'll need to open up our terminal, the integrated terminal in VS Code. So to do that, we'll just need to click Terminal, click New Terminal. And as you can see, a terminal window has opened up right here. So in this terminal window, we will need to type in scripts backslash activate, make sure scripts is with a capital S, scripts slash activate, and press enter. And once you've done that, you will see env in parentheses. So env is the name of our virtual environment, and we've just activated that virtual environment. So any packages we install now will only apply to this virtual environment. So now once we've done that, we'll just need to type in pip install Django. Press enter and wait for Django to install. So now Django has finished installing and now we can go into our SRC directory. So to navigate to the SRC directory within the terminal, we'll just need to type in cd space src. cd stands for change directory. So we'll just need to click enter and we are inside the SRC directory. So inside this SRC directory, we will need to start up a new Django project. So to do that, we will need to type in Django admin space start project space, and then we will need to name this project. I'm going to call this app. And then we'll need to type in another space and a dot, which just says we need to create this in the current directory. Now press enter and it has created the project. So if we open up SRC, you can see that there is a new folder in here called app, and there's another file called manage.py. So we will be using this manage.py file, so we'll need to type in python manage.py start app, and I'm going to just call this URL short. Click enter. And now you can see that there is another folder that pops up with the name URL short. So if we open up a few of these folders, you can see that there are quite a few files here. 
Don't be intimidated by this and because I will show you which files that we'll need to edit. And we don't need to edit most of these files here. We'll need to edit some of them, but not a lot of them. So now that that's out of the way, what we will need to do is type in python manage.py run server. And right here, we will see an IP address that we will need to enter into our browser. So to do that, we'll just need to do Alt and click. And as you can see right here, it says the install worked successfully. Congratulations. And then we see this rocket and we just see this basic Django landing page. So this is what will show up when we start up a project for the first time. Once we add more URLs and other things to our Django project, this page will go away and we'll need to create our own HTML. So now if you see this page, you know that Django is successfully installed. And so once we know it's successfully installed, what we will need to do is to go into, back into VS Code, open up this app directory or whatever you called the project that you created and click on the settings.py file. So in the settings.py file, we will need to scroll all the way down until we find installed apps, this list called installed apps. So right here, we're just need to add another value into this list. And we'll need to open up double quotes. And in here, we'll just need to type in the name of the app we created. In my case, it's URL short. URL short. We'll just need to type that right here. So Django knows that we have added another app into our project. So once you've done that, that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next Django tutorial.